Finding good fit leads and writing personalized emails is one of, if not the most, time consuming parts of working in sales. But a new product from Vidyard claims it can automate the whole process using generative AI, meaning once it's set up, you might never need to prospect again. Sound too good to be true? Let's find out. Vidyard Prospector uses a data sourcing tool combined with generative AI to locate leads based on a chosen criteria and automatically write emails. Now, if you're a frequent visitor to this channel, you'll know that sales feed is part of Vidyard. What? But this is a new product and I've not had the chance to test it until now. So I plan to be unbiased and honest in the review. From my experience, AI written emails can be a little bit hit or miss depending on the type of prompts you use. So today, I'll not only be looking at how to set the tool up, but also whether the quality of emails is something that I'd be prepared to send out on my behalf. Okay, we're on the landing page for Prospector. Automate my outbound selling so I can focus on building relationships and pipeline. That's what we want. It's a new product, so it looks like there's some things coming soon. Uh, the ability to use an Outlook account, send email sequences based on activity. Wow. Okay, I want it. I want one. Let's go. Let's let's sign up. Sign up for free. Okay, so welcome to Vidyard Prospector. Let's learn more about you. These can always be changed. I'm just gonna enter that now and continue. Uh, let's learn more about your product or service. The more detailed, the better. This information will be used to craft your personalized emails. I've got a thousand characters, so I'm just gonna write something uh, that I think is gonna be most representative to my prospects. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so I'm gonna hit continue. Okay, so now it wants me to authorize my Gmail account, which is gonna allow Vidyard Prospector to automatically send emails on my behalf, which is a bit scary if I'm being honest. It is a bit scary. But it does say here that I'll have the ability to review and tweak these emails. And we'll have a little look at that later on, I hope. Okay, we're here. Welcome to Vidyard Prospector. Get started. Okay, so I'm now in the territory section. Um, so I'm gonna keep my location quite broad. So it does look like you could get quite granular um, if you work a, a specific um, section within the United States or parts of Europe. So for here, I'm just gonna add United States. Just based on that, it can automatically search for leads, but let's get a bit more specific. So computer software, and if I click down, oh, this is good. So I've got a list of fields in a drop down menu that I can select from as well. So I'm gonna choose maybe three. So now it wants company size, uh, but it looks like we can go all the way from one to 10, uh, all the way through to 10,000 plus. So we should be able to cover all territories. Okay, so now position, I'm gonna put in a VP manager and director and role sales it's found that already i think i'm just going to leave sub role blank and the maximum leads per search is currently set to 10. Uh, it says to upgrade to increase the number of leads found per day to 20 and right now i'm just going to leave it at 10 and it says generate leads and preview emails okay here we go thinking Okay, so it's found some leads, uh, real people. Wow, it's found these names and it's also written the emails. Now that's where I'm really excited. So let's have a look at this top one here for Mitchell. Okay, so first email, boost your regional sales strategy, Mitchell. Let's chat video with Vidyard. Hey Mitchell, having a key role as a regional sales manager at Chatsworth Products, I imagine you're always on the hunt for effective ways to stay connected with your team and your customers. That's a Decent start. Still got a long way to go, but that's a good start. Just think about it. You can narrate your product story rather than relying on text heavy emails. This is really good. I really like the tone. Like that is pretty good. I don't love the subject line. I would probably tweak that. It's too long for me. I would be pretty happy for this to go and get sent. Let's have a look at another one. Boosting global renewal sales at Okta with Vidyard. Again, probably a little bit long, but the body of the email. Hi Matt, as a fellow sales enthusiast, I couldn't help but admire your role leading the global renewal sales team at Okta. Given your need to continually re-engage and renew customers, I thought of how Vidyard could enhance your process. Instead of relying on lengthy text-based emails or scheduling numerous meetings, you can narrate the Okta value story visually. That's really nice. This not only shortens your deal cycles, but might also help improve your close rate. That's also really good. It's not said we will improve your close rate. Curious tone is always really important, especially with a first touch email. It's our job to be curious. That is 
pretty good. It's personal, maybe a paragraph too long if I was being picky, but I didn't write it, which is a huge boost. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, I wanna see if I can find one that I really don't like. Ah, okay, here we go. Rob, I hope this email finds you well. <laughs> I hope this email finds you well is super overused in sales emails. No, stop, just stop. And unfortunately, as a result, most of us and our prospects have got used to seeing that and just knowing that it's a sales email. So seeing that in the preview text could potentially put off a prospect from opening or reading. Let's have a quick look at uh, mending and editing those emails. So I'm gonna go back here to emails. Oh, so this little three dot option allows me to regenerate the email. So maybe I'll do that with that one that hope this finds you well. Three dots, regenerate. Let's see. Okay, so we have a new email, leveraging video for better engagement in your sales process. That's still quite a long subject line, but that's okay. Hey Rob, got rid of the hope this finds you well. Nice. Love that. And notice your role as Senior Director of Revenue Operations at Sunny Sky. Our paths never cross, but we're both in the tech industry, trying to make the customer journey as efficient as possible, which can be an uphill battle sometimes, right? That's really nice. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. There's still quite a lot of I's in it. I, I, and I on three of the four paragraphs. Whereas the previous one was, in my view, maybe like a three out of 10. This feels more like a seven out of 10. Excellent. It looks like I can manually edit the email as well. So I might literally just get rid of that and just have better engagement. I think because this email felt a little bit long, I don't necessarily feel like I need to ask for the meeting here. So I'm actually just gonna remove that last paragraph. Still got this sound compelling call to action, so I might actually get rid of this bit as well. So there I've just shortened the subject line, reduced the paragraph, took me, what, 30 seconds? And this is an email that I'm much happier to send over to Rob. Final little thing in the settings that's worth mentioning is as this is a Vidyard product, uh, there is the ability to add a video to be automatically included in your emails. Uh, record yourself doing a quick 20 second introduction that just says, hey, it's Chris at Vidyard. Um, let me know what you think of the email and if it's something that you're currently thinking about. It's more interesting. Final thing to do will be to have a look at what we can do with the paid account. So I'm gonna to click to upgrade and that should give us a couple of extra options. Yep, so here we are. Uh, we've got the free plan that we're currently on and Pro, which is $80 billed uh, annually or monthly at $100. That's gonna give me more leads that I can reach out to at the moment, 10 per day. It's not gonna quite cover the whole month with it being 150 leads. Uh, 400 leads per month, that's 10 to 20 every day. Uh, okay, and we can also import our own leads and remove the Vidyard branding from the emails. In summary, I'm really impressed with the emails I've seen from Vidyard Prospector. They went better than expected. I might choose to take a couple of minutes each day to tweak the subject line and perhaps remove some text, but it has the potential to save a lot of time, which I can then use on other revenue generating activities. Vidyard Prospector is free to get started, so I'd encourage you to click the link in the comments below. Just give it a try. Set up your profile and see the results you get when you add your own product or service. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. It really helps a lot and consider subscribing for weekly tech reviews, sales tips, and humor.